Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in today's video, we are going to uh, compare different language models. Okay, so we'll compare chat GPT, uh, which is now also based on GPT-4. And we'll also compare that with Facebook Llama and Stanford Alpaca. So we'll have different language models and we'll compare their response or result or output, whatever you call it. We'll compare those results okay, among each other and we'll try to find out uh, something called perplexity score. Okay, so we'll try to find out how good the language model is. Okay, so it's very important to understand that how we evaluate these language models because we are now living in the new normal of you know language large language models. We are this generative AI which kind of generates some kind of data for you that can be a text, that can be audio, video, or any other data uh, format. So in this video, our focus will be on text data. So it's text in, text out. So the text that you get uh, that can be uh, generated from any large language models or any language models in general, how can you evaluate their performance? Okay, so we'll, we'll have a look at something called perplexity. Okay, uh, that is a very good measure or the evaluation metric for language model. Now, what do we understand by, you know, a perplexity score or the perplexity? Let me uh, head back here and I'll just explain what, what, it, what does it mean. Now, suppose, for example, if you have this uh, text over here, which say the cat sat on. Now, you have a fill in the blank. Okay, now if you give this text to a language model, that can be any language model, for example, that can be Llama, that can be Bird, that can be, you know, Alpaca, that can be GPT's principles, GPT-X, any GPT. How would you uh, measure like the next word? How would you find out the next word or the next sequence for this particular sentence that we have here, which says the cat sat on? Now, for example, if I give you two options, the first option is that like Matt, Okay, the first option is mat and the second option is table. Okay, now for example, now if language model, if you know, for example, if GPT, if GPT selects mat, okay, for example, that will come over here, uh, that will come over here in the, in the fill in the blank. And now if any other model, like for example, llama, if llama selects, okay, that's table. Okay, now you can have a look at their perplexity score. Now perplexity is something like it's a metric used to judge how good a language model is. So lower the perplexity score, better the language model is. And I will also explain what that perplexity mean and what are the mathematical intuition behind the perplexity score. Okay, now if I put it over here, like for example, Matt, so Matt will have, you know, uh, lower perplexity. And if you have a lower perplexity, it means better the language model is. Now you might have seen, you know, lately that uh, OpenAI had also released a text classifier that can classify AI generated content with human generated content. Now, how, how can you classify those? You know, uh, it's very important to understand and also very crucial to understand that chat GPT does not write Shakespeare English. It also writes very simple English, but there is something called randomness or coherence. You now we look at look at those angles inside the generated content, then we'll be better able to analyze because if you just go ahead and see the way of uh, writing, what kind of English it writes, it's, a, it's not a right metric to have a look at it, okay, and it also learns, okay, chat GPT kind of also learn, you know, eventually, uh, it's also based on reinforcement learning uh, with human feedback, so it's very important, you know, to have these factors in mind, like perplexity or burstiness, these are the factors that we can consider to evaluate these language models, okay, so this is a very high level view, okay, I'll, I'll just now I'll just go a little up, as you can see the lower the perplexity, better the language model. Now, see perplexity can be, you know, norm, uh, can be explained by two ways, you know, as, as the inverse probability, okay, that's the first thing, as the inverse probability of the test set. Now, when you have a data, you have a test set, you can explain. Now, how do we define uh, the uh, mathematically? Okay, so suppose, for example, if this is, this is my 
set okay this is my w1 and this is my w2 this is my w3 and w4 and that can go to wn also for example this is w4 and how would you predict the next uh, sequence or the next word in that so this is how we define perplexity so it is one by it is the probability of your entire tokens that you have or the text that you have now i will go till wn and it's the n here okay so this is how you define as an inverse probability uh, up, and this is the mathematical intuition behind perplexity and I, I hope if you are not aware about unigram, bigrams or tigrams you can also understand now if if you have to find out the this next sentence which is mat in this case now if suppose if there is nothing let me just you know erase this if you don't have this thing here it's completely blank at this moment and now you want to find out now if it's only depend on this that's that's called unigram. If you if you can have a look at my previous video where I was discussing about Marco chain, you will be better equipped to understand this. Okay, if it depends on the pre the previous word, the previous sequence which is unigram. Now it depends on you know both of these two all together. Then it becomes bigram, and then it becomes in the three. Then it's become trigram, and then you go and. Uh, perform this probabilistic determination and you get the next sequence okay this is a very high level 10,000 feet overview of you know a perplexity or finding out the next sequence okay that you uh, find out and if you see my previous video when I was discussing about Marco chain I have explained this here and how you can calculate it okay so now this is a very high level example that how you can you know uh, measure perplexity one through inverse probability now the other is also through cross entropy you can also explain through cross entropy. Now, how you explain uh, through cross entropy is now if I do PPW here, which is two, and now what is that H W that you see? It's nothing but the uh, log of W one and two. It's the logarithmic of your W n, and then you have here uh, two to the power one by n. Okay, this is this is how you explain uh, through cross entropy. Okay, so two ways you can mathematically express perplexity, which is nothing but you know uh, uh, the metric in which to judge how good a language model is, finding out the looking at the randomness uh, in the text generated text. Now, for example, if if you say that perplexity, for example, is hundred for one of the generated a word or content that you have you know by your language model now perplex perplexity is equal to 100 what does this mean okay it means that model is trying to you know guess the next word and it is as confused as if it, if it has to pick from the uh, 100 words okay between 100 words that what should be the next word okay if your perplexity is equal to 100 now why am i explaining this perplexity uh, through this different mathematical intuition Okay, and uh, this uh, bigrams or tigrams or whatever you call it, uh, that that's how we control the language models. So, uh, recently nowadays, if you see, we are living in this uh, uh, era, I'll say, now it has started, of language models and generative AI. You will see more content generated by AI and it's very difficult to classify them with the human generated content. So, how can we handle those things? So, that's why I'm going to show you in this video, we'll use uh, this at the, uh, this tool called Dalai, okay, which is uh, uh, we have forked this from this repository by Cocktail Peanut, okay, and Dalai helps you run these large language models like Facebook Llama and Stanford Alpaca, okay, and their 7B models, uh, and you can use Facebook Llama from 7B to 65B, which is the parameter that they have trained on. So it's very difficult to run these models, okay, on your single GPU or your machine, okay, but with help of you know uh, this uh, Dalai, which is a wrapper around Node.js. It helps you run these models hassle-free in your machine. It's very easy to set up and run these models. And this is what I have done here. You can see it's running on local host 3000. And I will use this to uh, generate the responses, and then we'll compare that with uh, Chat GPT. Okay, and then we'll use a tool called GPT Zero which says the world first AI detector with over 1 million users. Now you are uh, working as an, you know, uh, professor or you are part of an academia, you are part of a media house or journalist where you have to proofread or you have to find out the palagrism, 
you know in your content whether the content has been generated by an ai system or not you can use this kind of tool like gpt0 for example they also have a free version uh, here which says uh, uh, which is now outdated uh, because they have uh, transformed this here on gpt0 which is paid now but you can still use this free version okay which is loading over here you can say uh, thank you so much for checking out gpt0 below we have displayed the retired version of the gpt0 beta we you can find out the gpt0 beta over here i have already tested with the uh, uh, generated content by chat gpt and this is what i'm going to explain so we'll use this particular tool gpt0 and then we'll try to find out the perplexity score of the generated content and then we'll cross uh, verify with llama and stanford alpaca and we'll see which one is giving you know uh, performing better when it compares to perplexity okay so you see this uh, it says efficient detection of ai generated text okay so we are going to detect the text whether it, they are generated by ai or not with the help of perplexity okay so just by looking at uh, generated text by chat gpt it will be very difficult for a human to classify those okay and say okay these are being generated by ai you need some kind of mathematical uh, metric that can classify those you need uh, an underlying intuition that can classify those text between an ai generated text or a human generated text this is what we are going to do over here guys so if i just come over here and say what i have done i've asked chat gpt write an essay on importance of ai on the society and i will just copy these two paragraphs over here i'll just copy this i'll come over here on this and i'll paste it we'll just try it out okay and it has 5000 words limits okay uh, and it says please input a text that is greater than five words so minimum five words you should have a recommended length is 10 sentences and when you hit enter what it does it kind of calculates the perplexity the bustiness for each uh, word or token they try to find out the uniformity okay in your generated text this is how it calculates whether these content that you see are generated by ai or not okay so let's hit the enter and see if it's able to uh, perform as it is so i just just give me a moment you can see it says your input text you can find it out our in input text it over here that we have and it says your total text perplexity now you can also read it over here the, the same thing that i have explained uh, earlier that perplexity the randomness of the text you know is a measurement of how well a language model is okay like chat gpt can predict a sim sample text so uh, you know it measures how much the computer model likes the text and your text perplexity evaluated on gpt2 is 14 which is comparatively low okay and this is what i told you lower the score better it for language model okay and uh, perplexity is the most likely to generated by language model text with lower perplexity see what here okay text with lower perplexity are more likely to generated by a language model and they still if uh, and the tool can currently uses gpt2 based outputs okay you can also find it out on hugging face there is a fine tuned model on roberta okay which has been used to classify ai generated content okay well, with human generated content okay so you can see for this example uh, your average sentence perplexity which is 14 so it says and it's an incomplete indicator this is what i said okay so you cannot completely rely on only this okay whether these are being generated by ai or not because i also mentioned earlier that chat gpt kind of learns itself over the period of time and it also it, it also does not write a shakespeare english or english which are you know very random and coherent okay so uh, gpt is currently analyzing bustiness you can see your sentence text text perplexity this is sentence to sentence text perplexity as i told earlier about the uniformity of your generated content and uh, you can also find it out uh, sentence with the highest perplexity now see this is the sentence that we have firstly ai has significantly impacted the healthcare sector this sentence has a perplexity of 92 uh, which is too high okay uh, the very high perplexity uh, and gpt0 has finished analyzing your text get gpt0 result when i click on this what really happened let's see okay okay so you can see your gpt0 score is score, score corresponds to the likelihood of the text being ai generated 22 so basically your text is most likely to be ai generated you can read it over here okay so and they also have a paid version where they provide you more features okay this is they are running on a streamlit which is closed source okay you cannot get this streamlit app code or uh, uh, that code that they uh, kind of deployed through github 
most probably you will not be able to get it here okay but this is closed source but it's a very good tool to get started with and as i explained here right perplexity that that you saw it's very intuitive it's very intuitive to understand you can go and create your own uh, classifier which kind of not a classifier i'll say a uh, determination determination tool that will determine whether the text are being generated by ai or not with help of perplexity or bustiness or any other evaluation metric for language models so now let's ask uh lama or alpaca the same questions i'll say write an essay or something you know i'll just copy this or let's just write so i'll say write an essay on ai for on on the impact of ai on society now i'm asking this question to alpaca okay 7b model and i'll say auto complete and and the program will run so if you haven't set up dali yet in your system what you have to do you have to go to this github repository uh, which is i'll give you the link again in the description you have you have to install node js first in your machine if you haven't installed node js yet dali helps you run this language models you know uh, without you know uh, having this multiple gpus or gpus in your machine if you just want to inference these models you now you can use dali there okay so dali currently supports alpaca 7b which was launched by stanford recently and then you can also use a llama 7b to 65b they have four different models so this is how you have to install npx dali llama install 7b or whatever model you want to install and then npx dali alpaca install 7b and once you have installed you have to uh, start the web ui through npx dali so and it will take you to local host 3000 and you'll able to inference okay, you'll able to interact with the tool there and uh very good documentation as well and you can see i have asked the question you can see it's running over here i have set npx the live server which took me to local os 3000 and i had my first query over here uh, and my query is write an essay on the impact of ai on society the underlying model is alpaca 7b there are two different models but i am going with alpaca 7b for this particular prompt and i am getting this response you see this is the response that i am getting from alpaca what i will do i will have a notepad open quickly because uh, it, we kind of have to filter this like we have some you know uh, expressions that gpt0 might not support okay that we have to classify so i'll just go up i'll clear this and uh, just for example if i come down you can say it was so this tool this tool detected that you know this particular uh, text from chat gpt it is able to uh, a detect whether this is likely to be ai generated or not so if i go up i'll just remove this and what i will do i'll come back over here i'll i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it over here first on notepad and i'll remove a few of the things which is this and this is also needs to be removed and education to name just three for example this looks good i think we have to remove this as well the road so this will down the road without a human driver at the wheel and this as well okay so this has to be removed financial security and ai is already being implemented in many industry let's just keep it till here okay i'll just keep it till here and the potential the potential okay the impact i think this looks good now let's copy this generated text which is generated by alpaca 7b you can see the model over here and i will come back over here again on the streamlit application which is gpt0 you know you can this is the main uh, landing page that gpt0 has and you can look at uh, that there are a lot of already they are working with a lot of big clients like new york times the media houses bbc the yahoo's and the news like cnn to classify whether their articles or journals or news are generated by ai content or not and it's a good thing you know to have a, a validator there that can validate okay uh, of course with the human in loop as well you cannot eliminate human when you are trying to you know validate whether the content is being generated by ai or not okay you have to keep human there in the loop okay so now let's copy and paste this over here so we have pasted it out i'll just hit enter when i once i hit the enter you can see that 
you know your total perplexity i am getting we are getting 15 here you know for in this case earlier we for chat gpt response we got 14 and they are considered a better indicator that country the tech plant is 2422 currently analyzing bustiness let it perform and you can see the uh, text and let's go it has a perplexity so this is the highest one okay ai is already being implemented in many industry highest perplexity which looks very human okay AI is already being implemented in many industry, which is very human. That's why you're getting this high perplexity score for this. Now, if I go and get GPT zero result, let's see that. Okay, and you can see your GPT zero score corresponds to the likelihood of the text being AI generated, and it stays. Your text is most likely to be AI generated. So this still got it right. Okay, and uh, which is from Alpaca Seven B. Now let's do one thing. Okay, maybe. And I'm not sure, maybe on Wikipedia or anywhere, okay, I'll say artificial intelligence or should we take an uh, article from McKinsey or Gartner, so impact of AI on society and if we can get something, uh, some article or something that we can try with, maybe this one, let's see, or maybe Wikipedia, artificial intelligence, let's it open. And advantage to, and I'll just copy this. Okay, and I want to just validate this tool one more, one more time here. Okay, with uh, from a web article, and I just enter it over here, and I'll just say enter. Okay. Once I hit that enter, I'm not sure if it's uh, able to get it. Let's see. I'll say get GPT zero result. See, in, even in this case, we are getting your text is most likely to be AI generated. And this is what I was telling, right, Ki, that uh, it's very difficult to understand nowadays because large language models are not writing content, you know, which are very difficult to understand or which are not human, which are very near human that they also uh, kind of generate these large language models. But this is again a good tool okay, to, you know, have as a secondary validation layer, you have a secondary validation layer and you can, you know, uh, write it. Let's uh, do it once more with uh, this uh, Wikipedia article over here and I'll just copy this guy here and uh, let's go back to GPT-0 okay I'll hit enter and I'll come down and it says GPT is analyzing okay and let it analyze okay this is our input text that we have taken from Wikipedia okay and you can see it over here uh, yeah come down you can see for this it has a perplexity of 97 uh, this sentence uh, for instance optical character recognition is frequently excluded from things considered to be AI having become a routine technology nowadays makes sense I uh, will just uh, also get GPT-0 results okay and you see your text is most likely to be AI generated so you have to be very how should I put it very careful now when you are using GPT-0 or also the uh, OpenAI had released a classifier, text classifier which badly failed uh, in my views because it's very difficult nowadays to have a look at perplexity and randomness or coherence whatever you call it okay to uh, find out uh, whether the text is being generated by AI you know but if, if you really found this intuitive uh, uh, this perplexity one you can also go on and create your own tool uh, based on this uh, mathematical uh, formulas to find out whether the text are being generated by AI or not and you can also uh, have a look at burstiness burstiness is nothing but the uh, variation in your perplexity okay so they have a different variations okay in the ran random text that you are uh, getting generated with the help of large language models okay so it's a very interesting topic uh, you know uh, how to compare this uh language models now if you see chat gpt had very low perplexity score i think uh, when we compared llama and alpaca and chat gpt in this video we found out that you know chat gpt or gpt x has the lowest perplexity score okay and kind of makes sense they matches uh, near human uh way of writing this content okay but this also depends on the prompt that you are doing okay your prompt engineering should be on uh, uh very appropriate there know to do to deal with this perplexity and i'll give this link in description gpt0 please have a look try this out and let me know your thoughts on feedback 
uh, what do you think that is this a good start i'll say you know to kind of have a validation on your generated content or text uh, and also this can help different industries like for example mainly the research and academia where they have to deal with the ai plagiarism and uh, this kind of tool might help okay so i'll give the link of gpt hero uh, in the description if you haven't yet used the lai you know i haven't set up in your machine i'll also give you the link of the lai please have a look at my previous videos where where i have set up the lai and ran uh, uh, through um, command line and we you, uh, we also inferenced uh, with llama and alpaca and i'll also give you the uh, this streamlit application link you can have a try so uh that's all for today's video guys uh if you like the video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet yet please do subscribe it and please share this video and channel uh with your friends and to your peers okay thank you so much for watching this video guys see you in the next video